Somebody's child is dead. We just met, as I said, with a bipartisan group of, uh, of mayors, law enforcement, and community leaders. The murder rate is getting out of hand. We discussed a, a comprehensive strategy that I'm releasing today to uh, combat the epidemic of gun, gun violence. violence. has become overwhelming. Another violent crime that we've been seeing in our country for far too long that has spiked since the start of the pandemic over a year ago. In Philadelphia, the spike was a reality before the pandemic. In 1990, Philadelphia had 500 killings. 30 years later, we are eight deaths away. Killing each other on a daily basis here. It's abnormal to live in a neighborhood where you see half of your friends die. The fear, the lack of, the beating down of hope as this gun violence epidemic continues. The city is in crisis. And it has been for a while now. I wish that these people would put down these guns and stop shooting our children. Pennsylvania's biggest city had the highest gun death rate in the state, constituting 55% of Pennsylvania's total firearm homicides that year. With 1,475 total victims of gun violence that year, Philly also cost the state approximately $1 million. In 2020, amid the COVID-19 pandemic, the homicide rate shot up approximately 40%, with a total of 417 firearm homicides and 2,244 total shooting victims. This year, in 2021, the city is on track to surpass even last year's astronomical rise. Unbelievable violence hitting levels we've never seen before. Cops ain't gonna control them. They got guns bigger than their heads. To combat this, Philadelphia has tried and failed in the past to enact its own gun control ordinances, only to be shot down by something called preemption. To explain that, Aldia News spoke to city solicitor Diana Cortez. Preemption, it can happen at different levels of government. You would have federal preemption, state preemption, essentially saying that the um, the higher level of government has passed a law that essentially anything locally that falls within that law's um, parameters is not gonna is not valid. So essentially, the higher state or the higher federal government. Um, rules in that particular area or for that particular matter. In Pennsylvania, there are two firearm preemption laws that hinder Philly from enacting its own ordinances. They both prohibit the regulation of firearms by local governments. Philadelphia has challenged the state over preemption in the past and has a new approach given its current crisis. We are suing the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the General Assembly, and two state representatives. There are three avenues of argument. We are asking the court to declare these two firearm preemption laws unconstitutional. These two firearm preemption statutes are creating the state-created danger and preventing people from enjoying life and liberty here in Pennsylvania. The other claim that we have is that these two firearm preemption laws violate the substantive due process. The third claim argues that preemption laws are in violation of three health codes regarding health emergencies. These two firearm prevention statutes are, again, hamstringing not just the city, but also in particular the health department. This lawsuit has a different approach from past ones. As opposed to the lawsuits in the past, what was done was that we weren't attacking the validity or unconstitutionality of the law itself these two firearm preemption laws. What we were saying in the past was here is, you know, 
this slew of uh, local gun prevention laws. They fit within the exceptions of these firearm preemption laws. And the courts had said no, saying that the firearm preemption laws were very broad. Amid court failures, it leaves gun control in the hands of Philadelphia state legislators in Harrisburg, who face overwhelming opposition. One of those legislators is Representative Danilo Burgos. When we have the House of Representatives controlled by Republicans, the agendas are, are is totally different than our urban areas. According to a nationwide 2021 Pew Research study, only 20% of Republicans say gun laws should be more strict versus 81% of Democrats. In Pennsylvania, that divide makes for some hard conversations. When I speak to my colleagues that enjoy hunting, what they hear when you say gun control is that we're going to stop hunting. And you have to literally explain to them, no, this is why we need to have stricter gun controls, particularly in Philadelphia. It's years of not understanding Philadelphia. It's years of uh, believing in the national rhetoric and, and not understanding what we need here in Pennsylvania, what we need here in Philadelphia. Despite the lack of understanding, Philly took matters into its own hands by enacting gun control ordinances, which have been shot down by preemption. Two examples of that are the permit to purchase um, laws that we currently have on the books, Philadelphia Code Section 10814, and the other one is the one gun per month limit, and that is in our Philadelphia Code 10831. So if we were allowed to enforce these laws, we would be able to civilly prosecute people who are in, currently in violation of that. Um, right now, that would be, I think, a great tool for the city to try to attack the flow of guns into Philadelphia, which I think we've heard from many people um, throughout this year and in years past that that's a key component that is missing in this um, fight against gun violence. There is a plethora of different ordinances in the books, but I think the reason that this complaint focuses on those two in particular is more so that there is that statistical analysis. Um, I think that corroborates the need for us to have those types of, to have that type of control locally. As a member of the Philadelphia delegation, Burgos is planning to support Cortez in the city's fight with a pending lawsuit against the state. I will do whatever I believe is necessary and this lawsuit is on the right side of, of, of what our communities need. And I will work uh, with my, my colleagues at city council and mayor to make, sure, to make sure that we have the best uh, opportunity uh, for this uh, lawsuit to be successful. People will still be allowed to bear arms. That's not going away. It's what regulations can be placed to still protect and recognize that right with the fact that there is a flood of illegal guns, of guns into Philadelphia. So how do we then control that piece that is getting into the hands of people who are then using it to kill and shoot and maim all these other law-abiding Philadelphians who do have the right to, to pursue happiness and to live their lives without fear of being shot or killed? It's a simple fact of humanity. Some of our children have been this disincentivized of through the crime and they believe there's nothing's going to happen to them or they believe nothing uh, they have nothing to live for so they see that they they um act and they engage in in negative uh activities uh believing that there's no tomorrow um again the the belief of, of the pursuit of, of, of freedom and happiness is also uh, in, in our constitution and so hopefully that will win in our courts. As the courts rule on gun control for Philadelphia, the city cannot wait for answers as they run deeper than just legislation.